so before we even get started with this video about bullying I'm gonna go over a couple of things one I'm not looking for sympathy two I'm not looking for an apology and three I have forgiven these people Four, this is just a part of my testimony and I just kind of wanted to just share it so so here we I go stated previously in a video called bullying about how I promised how about I promised myself as a child that I would become an advocate if I saw bullying happening like as an adult I would like verbally drop kick people so yeah I pretty much said that and I stated previously about how I was bullied as a kid so um from the time I was five until 16 I was bullied surprisingly it really wasn't that much in school it really wasn't like at school they'd be like you're fat and I was like I came out of the womb eight pounds and 15 ounces like you're yeah your girl is thick okay I like broccoli and water yay health but you know like and my parents would be like oh they like you they just they don't know what to do so they like you because you pretty and you smart and so you know and I was like you're my parents you're supposed to say that but okay Thanks guys, you're wonderful. But the majority of the actual bullying took place at the church that I grew up in. So we started going to the church I grew up in when I had just turned five years old and just like even on the first day, I was like, oh my God, I hate this. Like, why? <laughs> why Jesus? Por qué? And um, yeah, it, it was just like, they would talk about my weight they would talk about the way that I talked because in Sunday school, I would know all the answers and I had an extensive vocabulary for a five through seven year old. So like they would just be like, you're not black. You don't like being black. Why don't you da 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 And I'm like, meanwhile, during the week, cause I went to a predominant, I, I went to always predominantly white schools. So like if, someone would say anything about black people at school I would be like oh no baby no this is I'm gonna educate you right quick and give you a quick history lesson all right diversity here we go and so then I would turn around and go to church and it was like all the defending that I did was like just it was like nothing it was like the thanks I got was well you even like being black and you're fat and you talk white and I'm like alrighty then thanks so that went on from the time I was five until 12. And then when I was 12, I mean, something just clicked that day. I said, well, I was PMSing for the first time. So I hated everybody and my hormones were absolutely raging, girl. Like, oh girl, I could like kill everybody and like not thought about it because I was just like, I was angry at everybody. If anyone looked at me wrong when I was 12, I was like gonna elbow drop them. So, of course, the ringleader was always the pastor's son. Don't worry, we're friends on Facebook now. Like, like I said, disclaimer in the beginning of the video. Rewatch that if you don't get what I'm saying. He um, called me white chocolate. That day was it. Like, I, something clicked and I read absolutely everybody in that room. I gave two chops to the throat to everybody verbally that day. I was not having it. I was like, um... First of all, I defend you every week. Da 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 da. This is the thanks I get. I'm tired of you. And I like read everybody, and everyone was like, okay, um, ooh, okay, baby, no, put the steel chair down, baby, no. D just, all right, everyone, run. I walked out. <clears throat> I walked out of the room. And, you know, so from that day forward, it actually kind of died down. Like, it wasn't too bad anymore, but, um, but the, the intensity was, the, the in, most intense bullying was from 5 until 12. And, like, and it got to the point where I actually, I unfortunately developed an eating disorder because of, not solely because of the bullying, but like other factors as well. But that was the main one. Again, I'm not looking for sympathy or apologies. So part of a testimony. So from when I was 12 until 16, it, they would still kind of say stuff, but then um, my brother and I, we were just kind of like, yeah, we're like not even learning anything in Sunday school now. It's just kind of like, uh, let's make fun of everyone's session. And the teacher's like, oh, no, 
shopping. I was like, okay, no one has authority in here. Like, bye. I ended up going to the class that my dad was teaching uh, when my dad was a deacon um, at the time. So I learned more there and wrote more notes there at the age of like 16 up until I went off to college. But I mean, these people who like who said these things were friends on Facebook now. Um, but do I talk to them a lot? No, I don't because I'm still kind of like, all right, guards up. Cause you hurt my self esteem back in the day, girl. So yeah. So for those who didn't know who grew up in the church, the same church as I did, surprise. Yes. I developed an eating disorder because of what you said to me, but, um, but I'm not going to get into that. Like that's another video for another day. Like I'm not going to get into that. Like that girl, that was just, but, but yeah, so that's basically what happened. And so like now when I get bullied, on the internet I'm just kind of like okay first of all you would never say this to my face number two I'm sorry that you're miserable uh number three put a real picture of you so like everyone can see you keyboard warrior so I mean like so when I get like a nasty comment on my stuff I mean like I'm I want to I don't want to say I'm desynthesized but like I can handle it you know, I'm just kind of like, oh my God, this is annoying because like you wouldn't think that someone would come at you or like come for you on a kindergarten page, but they do. Like they say rude things to me. They say I'm not a good teacher. I get called a bad teacher at least once a month. And I'm like, Psh, okay, girl, whatever. Come do what I do and you would be sassy too. Stupid. Like I get called a bad teacher at least once a month. I get asked, well, parents you know, oh my God, why are you, girl, just all types of stuff. And I'm like, oh my God, you're actually just really annoying. Please just go away. Go harass someone else on the internet. I'm not doing this in 2019. So, but yeah, uh, those experiences made me the woman I am today. And, um, if you're going through this right now, just to know that you, first of all, you need to tell somebody, you need to talk to someone about it. And, um, you're not going to remember these people 10 years from now. I mean, like, yeah, I'm friends with them on Facebook, but I'm like, okay, whatever, dude. Yeah. It's just like, it, they're mad because they see something in you and they're trying to bring you down. That's a devil, girl. Don't let him do it. Don't let him do it. You live your best life. You be the best you that you can be, okay? Don't let anyone bring you down. You love yourself, okay? And surround yourself with people who love you too. So that's all that I have to really say. Um, you can take this video however you want to. I don't really, again, not looking for sympathy and apology. Uh, I've forgiven these people and this is, you know, just a testimony. Share it, like it, whatever. It's all good. Y'all be blessed and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye now.